GPT has got a long term memory and in this video I'm going to show you how you can enable long term memory if you are a chat GPT plus subscriber. This works only if you are a chat GPT plus subscriber. See before even we move to this one thing that you need to understand is what has been the biggest bottleneck with these LLMs. There are few things that you can easily point out. One is hallucination and two is personalization and three is of course the long term memory. Every time you restart the conversation, it doesn't know anything about you. It starts with a fresh book. It's almost like the lead character forgets everything. So it doesn't have that long term memory that can help understand who you are, what you are. Actually, you can add certain information to this customized chat GPT where you can add custom instructions. Like, for example, I'm a data scientist. These are the things. Wouldn't it be nice if there is a memory unit within chat GPT that can remember everything that you say? Or most important thing about you and then it can use it whenever you want and that is exactly what this particular feature is about so I'm going to show you how to enable it the first thing that you have to do is you have to go click your profile name and then go to settings once you go to settings you click personalization and once you click personalization you will see this memory option and you can just enable it once you enable it you are well and good you can click the manage option if you have to clear the memory at this point as you can see it is fresh like it's like a newborn baby so it doesn't have any memory and let's go ahead and then start creating some memory so we have switched on the memory and i'm going to just go ahead and then say do you know how cute my pet is it is a beautiful white color cat that's it so now what happens is at this point chat gpt kind of starts understanding that it ha we have a beautiful white color cat but you can see that it did not load it or it did not store it in the memory and you can also notice this by going to settings you can go to personalization and manage and as you can see it does not have any information the reason is because every time it stores something in your memory you can actually easily see that it is going to show you here like the memory is updated so one you can explicitly ask it to remember something can you remember that i have a white color cat so you can explicitly ask ChatGPT to remember it and you can see that it has updated the memory. The moment you hover on it, you can see that has a white colored cat and you can click manage memories and then you can keep it. You can delete it and all those things. So I'm going to show you one more thing. So for example, I can just go and say, I absolutely love um, chicken biryani and I am just always looking forward to eat it for my dinner so it's not like you're going to go tell chat gpt this every day i'm just giving an example so it says memory is updated so it is also telling me the delicious choice and all these things do you have a favorite recipe or do you prefer to get it from a specific place there is a place in bangalore called magnus biryani and um, i kind of like that so now when you say this thing you can actually see if it is updating the memory so you can see that chat gpt at this point knows that i like biryani and it also knows that you know i i love getting chicken biryani from magnus so in this case even though it did not update so it says loves chicken biryani often looks forward to eating it for dinner so now the way you can use memory is let's say you have got a new chat and this chat GPT has got DALI code interpreter or advanced data analysis, internet and everything. You can say, can you create a nice photo of my favorite food? Now at this point, chat GPT knows what is my favorite food and it is going to look at what is in my favorite food inside the memory that it has created. And it is going to create an image of my favorite food. See, at the start, it might look like a trivial thing, but I think this has a huge impact in creating the profile. Like if you have been fan of her, the movie her, where you have got the operating system that can answer. I mean, looking at this image, I'm not, I'm not quite interested in actually recording the video. I started um, kind of salivating at this point, seeing this picture. Yeah, I, I don't get to eat biryani tonight, but... Um, was recently food poison but uh, i'm happy to see this absolutely beautiful biryani here so thank you chat gpt and uh, yeah this is this is the whole point and uh, you can now for example the other thing that you can do is 
um how much calories my favorite food might have so one of the reason people love using google always is because google has got i mean the personalized data about you and it also knows the location information even though chat gpt at this point does not have the location information i think this memory is going to serve huge purpose in a lot of things that you do and there there could be a lot of instances where you don't want it to have certain memory you want to like wipe it out so it's as simple as going here clicking manage uh, let me show from the first go to your profile after you go to your profile click settings after you go to settings click personalization click manage memory and once you do that you can just go here and then say okay maybe you don't want it to remember this you can delete this one particular thing or you can just clear the entire chat gpt's memory and uh, you can see that you know user likes uh, magnus biryani so for example i can go ahead and then see um search um what are the reviews for biryani from my favorite place so what i'm expecting is to see if it can search online and get the reviews for magnus biryani and it instead of searching online it is actually giving me this response but the idea here is that it has the long term memory that is stored across the conversation not just like the conversation now you could have seen like we clicked multiple new sessions and it is helpful across the systems that you have got inside the chat gpt plus you can use it with internet you can use it with dali and you can use it with code interpreter i think it is an excellent future and this is probably a step closer to having agents that remember everything that you say you do um, much like what rabbit or human is trying to do and i think that is much closer with this kind of interface i'm not still big fan of chat gpt plus subscription i don't get uh, anything out of it at this point because i use a lot of open source models but if you are a chat gpt plus subscriber this is a feature that you would definitely want to turn on and leverage it see you in another video happy prompting